Okay, um, lots of worked examples, uh, worked exam questions on angles at the foundation level, so going up to grade C, GCSE. Um, basic stuff to start with, which angle is an acute angle? So, um, acute angles are the ones that are less than 90 degrees, so the pointy ones, and all these angles are bigger than 90 apart from this one. Uh, so we could say the angle at A, or the, the technical way to write that is A, sorry, B, A, E, with the angle at A. Name an obtuse angle, I mean you you probably would get away with just putting A there. Name an obtuse angle, well, E is obtuse, because obtuse means it's between 90 and 180. Not equal to 90, because that's a right angle, not equal to 180, because it's a straight line. So we're okay for any of these angles apart from C which is 90 so B, D or E would be fine let's use B so A, B, C or we could just put B or D or E no need to put any more than one of them though which line is parallel to A, B so parallel lines are denoted by these arrows arrows tell you where parallel lines are and uh, so the one that's parallel to A, B is E, D or D, E Which line is perpendicular to CD? Perpendicular means right angles, or right angles, and here's our right angle. So the one that's right angle to CD is BC. Okay, some basic angle questions using angle rules. This is a right angle, so we've got. Um, Nine, this this whole thing adds up to 90 so x plus 18 equals 90 so x equals 90 take away 18 and that's going to be 72 here we've got a straight line the angles on the straight line add up to 180 that's the rule we need to use here so y plus 55 equals 180 so y is going to be 180 minus 55 which is 100 and 25. Here we've got angles around a point. The angles around a point all the way around a 360. So we've got Z plus 40 equals 360. So Z equals 360. Take away 40 and that's 320. Uh, another question about angles around a point, but this time we've got two angles labelled W. That means they're both the same. So we've got W plus W plus 80 is 360. So two lots of W, because they're the same angle, must be 360 minus 80. So 2W equals 280. So one of the W's must be a half of that, which is 140. Angles in a triangle, um, we should know the angles in a triangle add up to 180. Um, we've got to explain why this triangle is isosceles though. Isosceles means two angles slash sides are the same. Okay, I'm not going to deal with the sides here, we're just going to look at the angles. So what I, to make, make this, prove this is isosceles, I've got to show that two of the angles are the same. So I've got a missing angle. I call it x, so x plus 45 plus this little square here which is 90 equals in a triangle 180 degrees so x plus 135 equals 180 so x 180 take away 135 which is 45 so x equals 45 degrees so two angles the same Therefore, isosceles. Uh, show how two of these triangles can be used to make another isosceles triangle. Um, I haven't really left any room to do that, but I'll just draw a little diagram here. Uh, if we just put them back to back, then we know these are the same because these are both side 6 and therefore it is isosceles. 
Okay, here we've got a triangle already drawn. It's an isosceles triangle. These two two lines here tell us they're the same lengths, which is told in the question as well. A, B, and A, C are the same, therefore it's isosceles. That tells us in an isosceles triangle we've got one line of symmetry. So this angle here is the same as this angle. So that's going to be X as well. So we know X plus X plus 50 equals 180 because the angles in the triangle up to 180. So 2X equals 150, 180 take away 150 is 130 so x is 130 divided by 2 which is 65 degrees so there's our first answer 65 and the size of the angle y um, well x and y are on a straight line and the straight lines add up to 180 so this is all 180 so we know x is 65 plus y equals 180 so y is going to be 180 take away 65 which is 115 okay parallel lines where one line crosses um, on the diagram PQ on the diagram PQ and RS are parallel we knew that anyway because of these arrows which angle is vertically opposite to the angle A well A is here opposite the angle A is the angle C. It's not necessarily vertical, the vertically opposite is just what we call when two lines cross the opposite angles. B and D are vertically opposite, F and H are vertically opposite and E and G are opposite. Which angle is alternate angle to F? So F is this angle, the alternate angle forms this Z shape here. So the one that's alternate to F is D uh, which angle corresponds to the angle C? Let me just pick a different colour for this. The angle C, which is here, okay, corresponds because it makes this shape, the F shape, with the angle G. Okay, a rather complicated looking diagram here but uh, we're told there's four equilateral triangles and four isosceles triangles here. These must be the equilateral ones because they're the ones where all the sides are the same. Complete the sentence. The equilateral triangle, in the equilateral triangle, the angle X is something degrees. Well, if they're all the same, they're all X, so we've got 3X equals 180 in a triangle, so X must be 16. Now, you should really know that anyway, that the angles in the equilateral triangle are always, they're always 60, so it should be something you know, but you can work it out if you don't. Work out the value of y. Well, a um, couple of ways we could do this. Um, we could try to use these points here, but I'm going to use this bit here, because this corner here is a right angle, and this angle here is y, and we know this is 60. So we've got y plus 60 plus y equals 90. So we've got um, two y's are equal to 30, because 30 plus 60 is 90, so y is 15. The small square has size of 5. What is the area of the small square? OK, so their size of 5. 5 times 5 equals 25. OK, angles in a quadrilateral, four-sided shape. Um, they're always added up to the same thing. Um, you may have been shown that any four-sided shape can be split into two triangles, each of which has 180 degrees, so that's 360 in total. Or if you just remember a shape that you know, like a rectangle or a square, that's all right-angled corners, so four of those makes 360. So all these angles add up to 360. So this angle here, this missing angle, can be found by adding 360. Now we need that, because once we've got that, we can find our x, because they're on a straight line. So let's write this working down. We've got 46 plus 92 plus 140 plus the missing angle equals 360, because it's in a quadrilateral four-sided shape. OK, I'm going to resort to the calculator to work out the missing angle. So we've got 360 take away 46, take away 92, take away 140, gives me 82. So the missing angle is 82. 
and because that angle plus x equals 180 that means that x equals 180 take away 82 so that gives me 98 degrees okay starting to get to some tricky questions here we've got a regular polygon that means all the sides are the same of this shape it's just been started it carries on all the way around um, you can't just guess this answer you've got to actually use some knowledge here so um, the exterior angles of a regular polygon so um, these angles here always add up to 360 that's the rule so the exterior x area angles add to 360 so if we can work out 360 divided by the exterior angle equals the number of sides well, it tells you how many angles are and therefore how many sides so 360 divided by 18 um, 18 goes to 36 twice with a 0 on the end is 20 so there's 20 sides Okay, a mixture question here and here. So a triangle and some angles here. Work out the value of DBE marked text on the diagram. So DBE is this angle here. This whole thing here is a straight line. So we've got 46 plus x plus 52 equals 180. So 46 and 52 is 98 plus x is 180. So x equals um, 180 minus 98 which is 82 work out the value of DEB DEB which is this angle here if we know that's 82 we have a triangle here so we've got 37 plus 82 plus Y equals 180 so 37 and 82 makes 119 and so Y equals 180 minus 119 if we take away 120 we get 60 and add one back gives us 61 degrees okay another regular polygon question this is a regular pentagon doesn't look regular because it's not drawn accurately but that means all these sides are the same and all the angles on the outside are the same and so on and all the angles on the inside are the same because it's regular work out the value of the exterior angle marked over the diagram so as I said before, the exterior angles um, you can work out because 360 divided by the number of sides, in this case is 5, equals the exterior angles. So 360 divided by 5, employ the calculator, I think it's 72, but oh yeah, 72.